Well, hi everyone. Today's video is gonna be a quick update to the Big Mac Bridge, the Daniel Carter Beard Bridge in Cincinnati, Ohio, I-471 over the Ohio River in Cincinnati. We're gonna look at some drone footage that I had commissioned and it was flown yesterday on Tuesday, December 3rd, 2024. And they're making a lot of progress removing the damaged bridge deck in preparation of getting ready to remove the girders and uh, hopefully have everything cleaned out and ready for the new material coming in early to mid part of January 2025. So let's just go through some of this drone footage. It's a good overview of the location. You can see they've removed the bridge deck. It looks like at four girder locations so far. And you can see they're leaving part of the deck in place to serve as a work platform. So we're just going to go through here and look at a couple more. So as a reminder, this bridge had the approach spans to the southbound lanes to the main span over a city playground. And that playground caught on fire in the early morning hours of November 1st, 2024. Now this bridge was completed in 1976. So I was getting up there in age. I want to mention, I've been interviewed a few times now by WCPO in Cincinnati. Paula Christian recently did a story, and she interviewed me for that. And uh, I've got a link for that video in the description if you want to check it out. So this is what we're talking about prior to the fire. You had this netting underneath the bridge deck that was supposedly there to catch debris. So I wonder what was deteriorating that would require uh, a mesh covering there to keep material from falling down on the playground. But it went up into an intense fire, just left nothing but ashes. Also, I spoke with Cincinnati Fire Representative and asked the question whether they were testing or considering the need to evaluate the remnants of the fire, the debris in the soil and water at the playground location to determine if there's any uh, nasty contaminants, you know. High intensity fires involving rubber and plastic produce a lot of hazardous byproducts. And uh, so far, I haven't seen that issue or potential issue addressed in any of the reports so far or in any of the statements by ODOT or city officials. So yeah, it was quite an intense fire. I want to send another shout out to Cincinnati Drone Photos. Uh, I commissioned them to provide this drone footage and they've done a great job. This is the second flight they've done for me. I'm planning to do a few more as uh, the work progresses on this repair. If you wanna check them out, there's a link in the description to this video. Also, since I am commissioning these, these drone flights, another way to support the channel, if you would consider it, is buy me a coffee. I've got a link for that in the description as well. So let's go through some more of this footage. You see they're doing a nice orderly job here. They have to be very methodical, very careful. It's uh, sometimes the case where people don't always appreciate the redistribution of support or the loading when you remove a structure like this. It's not exactly the reverse of, of building it. There's a lot of other things that have to be taken into consideration. There's a ground line shot here, the damage section. So far, they've installed two lines of shoring towers to support the existing girders. They also have some damage to the parapet wall in the northbound lanes they said they're going to be working on. So that's another reason why they've got that one lane closed northbound. As I mentioned in the most recent ODOT update on Wednesday, November 29th, they indicated that they were going to replace all seven girders for this bridge. And again, from the photo, we can see that they've exposed four of these girders so far. Um, I'm thinking that the remaining girders obviously are under the remaining section of bridge deck that has yet to be removed. But these are really great shots, very clear day. They're going to be up against winter weather here pretty soon, but they should be able to readily complete the demolition for all the parts that are damaged and need to be removed by sometime in December. I believe ODOT's indicating perhaps mid-December, weather permitting. So pretty soon they'll be cutting up those damaged girders and hauling them out. Also too, you can see they're 
installing a footing, it looks like another row would be a third line of support for the false work tires. There hasn't been an ODOT update since last Wednesday, November 29th, about the status of the project. So with that, I appreciate y'all watching. I want to send a shout out to the channel members. I really appreciate your ongoing support, as well as those of you who have provided super thanks. That's another great way to support the channel. And also the many of you who have contributed to buy me a coffee. I just set that up a couple of weeks ago, and uh, many of you have already contributed to that. So again, thank you very much. I'll continue to update this story as developments occur and uh, there's new things to show you. So please stay tuned for future videos.